the biggest frame makers update so far this year just dropped which is admittedly an easy title to claim because the game hasn't received any major updates since december last year but this update is still something really exciting which players have been asking for for years basically frame makers finally has a really good training mode now it lets you see tons of useful boxes change the game speed set the amount of assist charge and so on it's got all of the good things you would expect from a proper training mode. The funny thing about this update is that now people can analyse the base roster in a ton of detail, looking at the hurt and hitboxes for individual frames. For example, here's the hitbox for Octodad's back throw, which is just so excessively large, I, I'm shocked that it's this big in the game. And here's one for Weltaro's down throw, which I just love Ramsey's reaction to. The poor devs, man. They must be stressing out after this. It's also let people take some goofy screenshots like this, this and like this. But goofy screenshots obviously isn't the only thing this update is good for, it's going to be super useful for improving your frame maker's skill and learning how to play with characters. It's also great for custom content creators as they can test their characters and assists in a lot more detail now. It's also been useful for finding bugs, such as this Octodad visual error, which is going to help Team Frey find and fix things with the game. One of my favourite parts of this update is how training mode lets you use infinite assists. This was a thing on a custom stage before, but it's nice having it in the base game. It turns out that if you use the Nico assist over and over and over, its effect stacks, so by spamming it a bunch you can make your character glow yellow and they become super strong. It also completely breaks the game if you hit someone while under this effect, but it's funny, it's fine. The same thing happens if you spam crewmate, except instead of turning yellow you turn blue, which just makes you look like an energy drink. I also want to tell you guys about a super cool custom content event which is starting today. It's the first ever annual Frey Jam, which is basically a game jam for custom content. Creators have from March 10th to June 10th to create creations based on the prompts Mario and Root. There was some debate around whether the Mario prompt to be changed after the DMCA takedowns that happened a few months ago, but people decided to go ahead with it to show that some DMCAs can't stop this community. There's also a £10 Steam gift card from DSF for the winner, so you could make some money by joining in with the jam. Very stonks. I've put all the info you need for the jam in the pinned comment. It's a bit of a shorter video today, that's because there's not too much to talk about with this update, but I wanted to get a video out about it anyway. I've got a very exciting custom content video coming out soon, I'll see you in the next one.